in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to quickly add an image or some other media type file that you might have and want to get it into your blog. So the first thing to do is obviously to navigate to your dashboard of your blog and to a post or a page that you have already created uh, I'm in the process of creating. The first one I just use my home page content run here. So if we just expand you can see I've got lots of text but no particularly nice images. I'm just going to select a location on the page where I want to put an image. If you look here at the top just above this banner here you can see that there's a variety of different icons. The first one which is image, second one video, audio and then media. Media might be PDF or some other type of file. So for this one we're just going to click on image bring up this add media files from your computer page. Now the maximum size of image that you can upload is one megabyte. So you need to commit, take that into account when you create your image. You may have to resize them or something like that in order to get it to fit. Now the web, you don't really want large images because they take so long to download. That's why there's that file restriction on there. So if you have an image that's ready to go into your page, click select files, bring up a little prompt and you can select any files you want. I'm just going to have a look and see if I have one which is about the right size. So we've got a, this one here, it's about the right size. And you see here initially that it shows a bit of prompt come up. And there's several of them, several things that you need to uh, be aware of. First off is the title, and that's just what the, re the blog will use to store your image. Alternate text is if you have a partially sighted or a blind person. An alternate text will enable a screen reader to read out that particular piece of text to describe what the image is. It's important that you do fill that in just to make sure that if we do get some disabled people visiting the blog that we don't discriminate against them. So all I've done is put a small alternate text in there. Also now caption is um, will be a little caption, uh, figure one for example and then description is just something which is stored in the system you can put that in there. Now it comes down to actually if you want to have a link i.e. if you want to show a bigger image that people can zoom into. If not just click none. Okay that's usually what I do click none. Then you have alignment options. Do you want it just paste on a page, you want it on the left, in the middle, or on the right, with the text wrapping around it, and you can see from the little icons exactly what they look like. So I'm just going to click right there, right size, I want it medium size, and click insert into post. And immediately, you see your pictures come up, figure one, blah, 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 my square banner, automatically done by the system. Click update onto your post, we save it to do this fairly often. Let's click preview changes and let's have a look at what it looks like. And there we go. Beautiful image inserted right into the post. Perfect. You can do other types of media by clicking video etc um, and stuff. I would say if you want to put video in just use a YouTube link. Probably a lot more efficient than uploading um, large video files. Earlier you can but remember, we do have a one megabyte file limit. If you want to put something fancy on, ask me, send me an email, and we can obviously do that. Okay, so thanks for listening. That concludes this little quick tutorial.